EA Sports and the RNA are proud to present second round coverage of the Open Championship. Frank, when you come to the old courtship, you can just about hear the legends whispering to you. So many of the greats have made their mark right here. It's the oldest, it's the best, and it's the one course that everybody, no matter where they're born, wants to play. Every great player has played St. Andrews, and that will be well in advance after our time, which is just something special. Um, when you see it and play it, you'll see the reason why. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. Just when you think you're going to make birdie, now I have to really concentrate on this and at least make par. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Frank, you can see by the reaction, it has been that kind of week, just a few too many pars. Frank, from this vantage point here at the 12th, you can see why the old course, St. Andrews, are so iconic in the sport. Yeah, this is a, a fun hole as we start to sort of head back to the village of St. Andrews. Hole's called Heathery. There's a big crop of heather on the left, and there's four little pot bunkers that are in the middle of this fairway, so you've really got to be cognizant of those. But good time to take the head cover off if you're a long hitter, and then you've only got to worry about that one pot bunker just short of the green. No fairway here. This one in that rough. Second shot coming out of the rough here. That is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. So a tester from four feet. That's a birdie to get to one under for the tournament. Now to the par 4 13th, and again, Frank, it's all about avoiding the bunkers. Yeah, another hole that forces you to go either right or left of something that you can see. Uh, the two bunkers called the coffins right up ahead. You can also go beyond those, and if you do, then you've got a much shorter shot in, but uh, you've got to avoid those fairway bunkers. They are very costly. That is massive off the tee. Meters, yards, I don't care how you measure that. That's got to be, what, 300 meters, 325 yards, something like that. Good, clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. Didn't fare too well on this hole yesterday. Made a bogey. Frank, you know what gets me about this game? Here a person makes a, a legitimate effort. Makes a good stroke. And that ball spins around and is just laughing at the player. And now what's left, you could breathe on that ball. It counts the same as a 300-yard drive. It's not right. But it's the beauty of the game. Beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot.
Kachuk does finish up on the green, but it sets up for a very difficult putt. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Just ideal. Good speed on that putt and just a tap in remaining. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Well, after that, birdie has to be feeling as though they're not out of it just yet. They're not far away from the first page of the leaderboard. A couple more birdies. Frank, one of the things I always loved about Lynx golf is that you're not aiming at a flagstick or a tree, but sometimes you're aiming for a steeple in the distance, and this is a good example here at the 15th. Yeah, the church steeple is exa the exact line off the tee. That gives you sort of the center of the fairway. Um, really, you don't have to be overly bold off the tee. This is about just finding a nice flat lie for that second shot, because this is another difficult green that's well protected by just one little bunker that's in the front left that you don't think comes into play, but if your second shot doesn't land the right distance, more often than not, it just gets swallowed up by that. So missed the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. And he's made the green. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Oh, how did that mess? Are you kidding me? I mean, that one was dead center. Getting set now over the putt. Frank, it has been that kind of a tournament. Another bogey. Frank, it really was vintage St. Andrews today in so many ways. Just a pleasure to be here. Yeah, the old course is, uh, has so many great memories. Obviously, when it crowns the, uh, the 2015 Open champion, it will add another great name to its uh, already impressive roster. But for anybody to play this great golf course, it's a chance to be linked with the past and the future of the game. Couldn't have said it better myself, pal. And with that, for my colleague Frank Nabolo, I'm Rich Lerner for EA Sports saying so long from the home of golf, St. Andrews. EA Sports and the RNA are proud to present third round coverage of the Open Championship. Now to the 374 yard par 4 6, another scoring opportunity. Hey, just be very careful of the wind conditions here because that'll affect the strategy off the tee. Bunkers left and right to be avoided. I mean, that is one of the hardest drives I have ever seen. Just let it rip. Frank, that swing looks lively and strong. Oh, the, that had to fly 300. Um, it's close to 310. That is how it's done right there. What an approach shot. Par yesterday. Now for birdie.
will it last? A birdie. Now, seventh hole here at the old course, Frank. Ideal line, just hit your tee shot over the March stone. Um, the bunker on the 11th green actually often comes into play, called the shell bunker. So anything a little bit right of that, but very difficult green for the approach shot coming up. goes after him like he is here. Just pulverize that golf ball. Frank, I know you like boxing. That was some heavyweight power right there. Smoked it. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. This is a good looking shot. And it generates some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. So coming off the birdie on the previous hole, a chance now for yet another one. And momentum all in his favor. right there. Yeah, this game, when you can't win, it's all about top 10s, top 20s. And currently, that's exactly where they stand. Par 3, eighth hole here at the Open Championship. And Frank, why is it so difficult to get the ball close here? Well, there's a, the bunker on the left side, there's a little bit of a downslope there. This is the first par 3 that you'll play. And uh, it's just tough to judge that distance perception. You've really got to be accurate on your yardage here. the green in regulation. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. And with the birdie, moves into the top 10 on the leaderboard. And moves into some very good company. Always so important to finish your first nine holes on a positive note here at the Open Championship. Yeah, the ninth hole, this is the most extreme part, furthest away from the clubhouse um, in the middle of the loop here. A good drive, though, that avoids those bunkers has every chance of finding this par four with your tee shot. Errant tee shot here, Rich, but going to have to muscle this one out of the rough. Second shot coming out of the rough here. If you hit enough shots, every now and again, one's going to go in. Crazy, crazy game. So through 54 holes, a really good position inside the top five with 